Really nice to see some, so many of you again. It's been a while. Someone was asking me here why Linda was working so hard. I told, he, told that she was young. <laughs> she has to work. <laughs> but uh, it's really nice to be back again to hear the warm, sincere you know, welcome. And I even saw that some of you say hello to me on the way, so that's good. <laughs> Today I will bring you back a little to the beginning of the balance concept. And uh, the first slide is really what is my beginning. This is the slide where this is showing that uh, in around 2004, a Galli and co-workers at the University of Milan in Italy, they developed this blood test of having a drop of blood absorbed to a filter paper extracting the fatty acids from the blood, and then separated through gas chromatography. This was really the beginning of the balanced health concept, and it was, would not have been possible to build a concept without this discovery. The main differences between the way Gali did it and the normal way of doing it by the, the, taking blood from, from a vein and, and so on is that you don't need to be an expert to, to use dry blood spot tests. And, and more importantly, you don't need to have a cold and freezing chain to store the samples. So it's very simple. You just, uh, anybody can take a drop of blood, anybody can dry this and send it by normal email. So this was a breakthrough in what we call home testing and screening technology. One of the first ones to use this technology developed by Gaeli was uh, Professor Angela Risso also at the University of Milan in Italy. And she used this te technique to test children aged 6 to 11, which had a diagnosis of ADHD. That was what she was looking at. And she found four, four things in her study, which was important also for the de development of balanced concept. The first one was that the children that was diagnosed with ADHD, they had extremely high ratio of omega-6, omega-3, even more than 40 to 1. The other, other discovery was that children in general, the control group, or the children without diagnosis, they also had a very high values. They had values of 20, more than 20 to 1. And the third thing she found out was that if she gave these children, both the control group and the ADHD group, omega-3s, she was able to lower this balance into a more better, better area, down to 4 to 1 or 6 to 1 or something. And the fourth, which was extremely important, was that she showed that by balancing, she could also influence the uh, hyperactivity and inattention for these children with ADHD. So she could improve their status. And this is, this is the first... The first uh, study that I know about, but our, our system was used in practice. She also copied this study with elderly people, elderly de depressed people, and they also showed more or less the same results. So this was rather important. If you now say, look at 2014, we had a, gr a, a group called, with, with Sharma was leading that went through the studies using dry blood spot tests and uh, also what they are used for and, uh, what, and how they behave. And, and their conclusion was very clear. This is a very good home test, and it's, uh, it's, uh, to be used for screening studies is fantastic. And it's now being used, for, for example, in India, they use it for screening on newborns, just to find out if they have some error of metabolism inborn. And because if you know that in the early stage, you can actually do something about it. It's, uh, it's uh, normally used for, for, very often used for HIV testing. And as you all know, it's used for fatty acid profile analysis, which is the balanced concept, and also for lipid profiling of infant <coughs> metabolism, so looking at the whole, uh, whole fat picture and more. And I promise you that this list will be long and even wider and wider and longer, and more and more tests will be using this system in the future, because now we know that it works just as well as the ordinary tests. If you go back to 2010, that was the year when Simopoulos arranged her conference 
in Olympia in Greece. It was the World Council of Genetic Nutrition and Fitness for Health that was meeting. And they, they, at that conference, they showed us three, three things. First of all, that by, by u- using screening studies around the world, they saw that the, the ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 was increasing, not only in, in Greece, but in all over the world. Not only in Norway, but all over the world. So this was a general increase. And, and they also knew at that time that this balance, and, and, and the abnormally high balance, would also be a driving force in development of lifestyle diseases. So that was known at that time. And what they wanted was a nutritional, uh, was a dietary solution that could meet this global need, nutritional need for balancing omega-6 and omega-3. And of course, at that time, we already had, already had the balance concept. The reason why this omega-6 Omega-3 balance is increasing all over the world. It's the same all over the world. The reasons are the same. It is because we are increasingly using plant oils, which is high in omega-6, but also we are increasingly eating meat, which is coming from grain-fed cattle. And that was also very high in omega-6. And I saw this year was the first year I saw, or, or last year, first time I saw that they started to warn people in general by eating too much meat. And it's partly because of this story, also other things. And the reason why it is not in balance is because we don't eat enough of what the government recommends us. We should eat more fatty fish, that is generally recommended by the governments, but we don't eat enough of that, and we don't eat enough of five a day of the, of the vegetable and fruits. And there is a reason for, for us to, that we need to have more green also in our diet. And the reason is that because of environmental pollution, the fat in the fatty fish contain, contains environmental contaminants, which when we, when we produce the fish oil from the fish, we need to refine it. We need to clean the fish oil to be able to use it for human consumption. That is EU legislation. And by doing so, we not only remove the contaminants, but we also remove the good stuff, which is protecting the, uh, the omega-3s in the fish, in the fish oil. And that is why we need to have some other antioxidants to take care of the omega-3. And in our concept, you all know that we selected olive oil as our, or, or virg- extra virgin olive oil as our source, source of antioxidants. And that is because of hydroxyterosol, is by far the antioxidant with the highest capacity coming from the, the five a day or the green and vegetable area. And also the number three on this list, olivopain, is, is a normal component of olive oil. So of the three, three at the top, you've had two of them is from extra virgin olive oil. Of course, it would, someone said that it would be better to have red wine or green tea, for instance, but, but we selected olive oil, and I think that was a fantastic good choice. By screening studies in Cincino, you have actually shown that the omega-6, omega ratio around in European countries and also in the U.S. is high, higher than expected, or, or, or that, than the governments w- want us to have. Looking only at the background di- diet, that is the one that don't take omega-3s or don't take balance in any way, it varies from 10 to 1 in Finland. Uh, up to 14 to 1 in the Netherlands, within Europe, and it's even up to 23.21 in, in the US. And we also know from the same studies that if you start to using the balanced uh, oil or balanced powder for that sake, in the amount that we tell you to take it, you will lower this balance down to about 3 to 1, which is good. So the balance concept works. It is actually the dietary solution that meets this global nutritional need of balancing omega-6 and omega-3. And that's what you're selling. That is fantastic. (laughs) And presently you have 122,000 tests to prove your point. That is the number of tests that has been analyzed by the 1st of January this year. I want to applaud you, because that is what you have achieved. <laughs> Fantastic. 
The good thing about the balance concept is it is a main component is omega-3 and polyphenols from olive. And omega-3, the amount that we are using in the balance concept is about two to three grams a day for adults. And that is in line with both scientific and governmental recommendations. So when the European Food Safety Authority says that uh, omega-3 in this, uh, this uh, level is, uh, uh, is good for your heart, that is because the scientists have already proven that and made that information available for European Food Safety Authority. So they approve what you do, what is in the balance concept. But not, but not, only, not only the omega-3 part, but also the oil polyphenols from the olive part. Same was already in 2011 approved as a heart health claim for polyphenols from olive. And saying that it protects blood lipids from oxidative stress, that is another way of saying that it, 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 it protects against the first step of atherosclerosis. Because that is actually oxidative stress step. So the component, major component in the, in the amount that we're using in the balanced product is fully in line with scientific and governmental recommendations. And the health effects is that you know documented through both Nordic and European research. And the first thing to, to you have to show when, you, when you're dealing with this kind of product is that when you eat it, it is absorbed into your blood because it cannot work if it doesn't go into your body. And that is uh, what they showed early in the Nordic project, that the balanced products are highly bioavailable, meaning that the components in the balanced oil, oil goes into your blood and starts working there. And that has been uh, published, as most of you know. It, is, uh, it was a study that was mainly done in a cooperation between a research, food research institute in Iceland called Matis and the hospital in, in, in Iceland. The nice thing about this study was it, it involved 100 people that was somewhat taking oil, some was a control. But what they did at the same study was when the people came to give their blood, they also measured the blood pressure. So that's why, that's why they, from the same study, can say that, sorry, the balanced product is also reducing blood pressure. And that will be published. It is on its way to be published but it's coming from the same study. Uh, and it's, of course, fully in line with, with the European Food Safety Authority, which says that DNA, a, a omega-3s from fish, contributes to the maintenance of normal blood pressure, which is more, it's just a bureaucratic way of saying the same. Here is another slide from, taken from our European project, where it says that balanced products do not provoke oxidative stress. The way this is shown, and this is extremely important, because it can calm you down when it comes to serving <laughs> balanced oil to anybody, because what we did was that we added balanced oil to yogurt, and we had 50 people to eat this yogurt for 10 weeks, and we had another group which uh, didn't, with placebo, we, got, we just got another oil instead of balanced oil. We had, an, had a fully inert oil into the system, so that was a placebo group. And then we compare the oxidative stress in the blood after these 10, years of, 10 weeks of, of, of usage, and it, was, didn't, it didn't move. It was the same values before, after 10 weeks, and also in the placebo group. And this is extremely important because what I said is that uh, oxidative stress of blood lipids, uh, blood lipids, so oxidative stress, stress of blood lipids is the first starting point of atherosclerosis, saying that Balanced oil can be taken without provoking any risk of, of oxidative stress. This is more important than you know today because I could mention a lot of other omega-3s which don't have that uh, value. We also show through Nordic and European study, this was done in, in, in Sintef, that uh, our oil and powder is, is more stable than competing products like uh, cod liver oil or concentrated omega-3s or krill oil. And it, 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 that means that it has a higher or longer shelf life than the other. This goes also for the, for the powder. And even though I know some of you have been, uh, been uh, thinking about this Totox as something important, and I guess the Totox is probably 
better in the fish oil products than in, in our products because some of the values which make up the products is, is uh, in, in, uh, in the extra virgin olive oil and cannot be taken away. And but as we see, our products is far more stable anyway. Then there is some room for improvement. And this, this study is taking this is a joint study between a laboratory in, in India and in the US, and they were looking for the stability of omega trees in the filter paper after you have delivered your blood. And they found out that uh, there, is, there is a small degradation of omega trees when it is in the filter paper when you're waiting after you take the test before it's analyzed. But they also show that uh, by adding uh, an antioxidant called BHT to the filter paper up front, we can avoid this degradation. So this is an improvement that I guess that Sincino would like to follow up on. Uh, then, yeah, it's, a, it's a also done some studies about the health effects when it comes to, to, uh, to uh, a project outside of this European and, and, and uh, Nordic research. What we know in general from, from the before is that uh, normal omega-6, omega-3 ratio that support normal development of heart, vision, and uh, function, uh, or brain function, that is, of course, uh, uh, very important by itself, so maybe that should be enough reasons to use the balanced oil, while abnormal high is, is omega-6, omega-3 ratio is, is a driver in inflammatory lifestyle-related health issues. We knew this, and then we wanted to, at the time, we wanted to develop some, some projects to indicate, to, to, because if this was true, there has to be an easier way of, of seeing that, that the balanced oil works in, in a group. And uh, the first group we picked up that time was uh, a football group, where we had, uh, they had an average 12 to 1, which is the average for, for Europe in, in omega-6, omega-3, and they were balanced down to 3 to 1. And then they were looking at their absence of player, player absence from, from, from training and game, and before and after, and we got a very, very big result improvement in, in the availability of players for this club. This is an old study, and it's so old that it was actually presented in, in Greece, in, in Olympia, Greece, as at the Simopoulos uh, Symposium there in 2010. Another study we did was that we wanted to, understand, uh, to see if it was possible. Normally, if you want to improve your skin condition, you have a cream on, and then you measure what happens outside in. So we wanted to have it the other way around. Just take the oil, get it to balance, and see if it works from the inside out to get the improvement of the skin. And for, for women, 40 years or plus, 40 years plus, we had a very, very nice increase in the skin elasticity while doing this study. So it really, really works, or works in, in every part of your body when you are in balance over time. And then we had gone into what we wanted to use, only observations. We have heard in, in many of the events, we meet people who tell us about the facts of, of the oil. We heard that many, many times, heard a lot of stories. So we wanted, maybe we could have hundreds of stories that we could sort of make some statistics of and see if it works. So far, I only got 15 stories. <laughs> but, but as you see, even those 15 stories can tell you something. So... So if you can help me to get more stories, I will present it back to you the way I will do it now. So that, so what, and, and you will see that it will be useful for you, but you have to provide me with the stories, the real stories. So of the 30, 15 stories, two of them was about lack of expected autumn colds. I know that hundreds of people, almost everybody have this experience, but I only got two stories. <laughs> But then I got another two other fields which I find very, very interesting, also for you and for me and for Sincino and for the future. And one of them was about uh, improvement in skin condition. We knew about this, this uh, 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 skin elasticity, but this was about children and adults that were scratching the skin until bleeding. I got four of those stories. 
And, and I had one from before, which is the one in the picture. So, so this seems not to be a unique situation that you can improve by balancing, can improve your, your, your situation in the skin very much. So this is something I would like to have, a, have an eye on in the future. But, but the number one, and that surprised me a little, I must say so, the most stories so far, seven stories that had to do with improvement in pain conditions. This is what but people that more or less have experienced the pain of health for years. Really, really experienced the pain of health for years. Most of it has to do with muscular and skeletal problems, but there are also, also some migraine in, indications here. So, and, and these people have really experienced a, a benefit of, of getting into balance, which could be useful. So if you give me the stories, I will give you the statistics. Agree? Yes. Fine. And that reminds me, when I am one minute over time, okay, <laughs> I want to tell you about a study or, or a report that came from the uh, World Health Organization in 2010. They were stating that 70% of all absence from work due to illness, or in the coming 10 years, and we're halfway there now, will be caused by problems linked to diet and lifestyle. And they listed four, particular four issues. One was about the cardiovascular disease. One was about the muscular and skeletal problems, which you just talked about, coming to pain. And the third one was milder psychological disorder and then stress-related problems. The three first one I have talked about during this lecture. So at least three or four will be influenced by balancing. Not cured, but influenced in a better way. So... That is, uh, this is my final slide, and may, maybe, a little, maybe a little warning to you, because I, I have learned one thing, one thing in, in my business life, and that is your best seller today probably is the one with the biggest potential tomorrow. So don't forget balance when you're out there selling all the new stuff. Thank you. <laughs>